spring has finally sprung, and today we're going to get some tips for how to spruce up the outside of our home. From Danny Triplett, president and owner of Westland Landscape. Danny, we've had a long, hard winter. What are a few things we can do to get our lawn and landscape back in shape? Well, the first thing we want to do is do a thorough evaluation of the landscape. See what damage we got over the course of the winter. We had a lot of snow, a lot of freezing temperatures. So we want to check all of our plant material, see if we've got snow damage, freeze damage, burn on the boxwoods, or the, any of the evergreens in the yard. So I shouldn't just run out there with my pruner and get started, I should evaluate first. Absolutely, and if you have any questions, call an expert. Now let's say that we have a dead tree or shrub. Is now an okay time to plant a new tree? Absolutely, we're just starting uh, to dig trees. It's been so wet this spring, the tree digging's a little late. Plus, uh, we haven't even been able to dig oaks yet. You wanna wait until the bud set on those. What we have here is a, uh, flowering crab apple. This particular tree is a prairie fire crab apple. And one of the common mistakes people make when they prune trees like this is they'll leave a little stub of a branch out when really what should happen is this should be cut back flush with the tree. Now we're gonna have one of our technicians show you how to make the proper cut on that branch. Now I noticed you have a tech working on putting mulch around the tree. What purpose does that serve? That's a dual purpose. That'll, number one, protect the tree from weed eater or mower damage, and then it also helps keep water around the base of the tree, keeps the tree moist. Now I notice he's moving it away from the trunk. Is that important? Definitely. You don't want to have the mulch piled up on the tree. There's a couple of techniques you can use. Number one, like John has done, a, a tree well here that helps keep the moisture right up around the drip line of the tree. On a, nor a more mature tree, you can spread that mulch out flat. Now, is there anything we should be doing with the grass? Yes, if you haven't already put your pre-emergent down, now you need to get it down any, any day now. Okay, now what if I have some bare spots in my yard? Should I seed them? Well, you can get a great crop of grass seed at this time of year, but you have to remember, you can't use pre-emergent if you put grass seed down and you're gonna have to deal with the grassy weeds that you're gonna have, like crabgrass and foxtail. Okay, well, what options do I have then? Well, we really recommend seeding more in the fall, but some people don't have okay. a choice. Now, you, if you just have a few spots, I'd recommend getting some sod and patching those areas in. Otherwise, if you need to seed, go ahead and seed. Remember this, you don't want to put a pre-emergent or a weed control down until after you've mowed the newly seeded areas twice. Okay. Now, once I get the bare spots taken care of and I've had my pre-emergent down, can I start mowing? Definitely. This yard, in fact, I would have recommended mowing before the pre-emergent went down. You've got a lot of uneven growth pattern through mm -hmm. the course of the winter, and I'd set the mower on a low setting and get a more uniform look with your lawn. That's going to also trigger some new growth with the grass as well. Okay, so low setting at the beginning, but then do I move the setting up throughout yes, the year? Yes, yes. You want, as the temperature goes up, you should raise the mower deck as well until you get it to about four to four and a half inches throughout the summer months. That'll do a couple of things. That, the grass will shade itself and keep mm -hmm. it cool, and you don't have as much uh, disposal of uh, debris. We've received some great tips today. For more great HomeSense ideas, visit us at HuntMidwest.tv.